what are you up to today? Oh my god! <laughs> Hi, I'm Lily Mae Evans and I'm from England. Hi, I'm Ally Joseph and I live in North Carolina. Back garden. The backyard. The next one is a wardrobe. A closet. <laughs> <laughs> And then the next one, she's wearing a jumper and leggings. She's wearing a sweater and leggings. <laughs> the next one, she's wearing dungarees. She's wearing overalls. <laughs> okay, the next one are sneakers or tennis shoes. Trainers. Oh. <laughs> what do you call them? <laughs> yeah, just trainers or running shoes if you're being like picky. This is football and you play- This is on, soccer. <laughs> and you play it on a football pitch. No, football is like the one with the, the big brown ball and you throw it into the goals. <laughs> Wait, what do you call that kind of football then? We just call it American football because we don't oh. play it. So, yeah. So what, wait, so you, do, you call that soccer? Soccer, yeah. <laughs> the next one are welly boots or wellies. Rain boots. Just main <laughs> boots, rubber boots. We have a weird name for those. It's quite well, weird. It's huh? uh, cutlery or like nice U utensils. Yeah. Yeah. We we call it cutlery sometimes too. Cutlery utensils, forks and spoons and knives. You know. Yeah. <laughs> it's usually one. yeah usually yeah silverware. We do call it a lot of silverware. I don't know. I don't know what you're looking for. We call it tin foil or like aluminum. Alum yeah, tin foil, tin foil or aluminum foil. foil. We call it aluminium, you call it aluminum. I yeah. think that's the difference, yeah. yeah. Okay, right. The next one, the ones in the packet are crisps. The ones, like, the little ones are chips. And that's a jacket potato. I don't know any of what you just said. Okay, <laughs> the ones in the bag are chips. The ones in the middle are French fries or fries, depending on how casual you want to be. And then the last one is a baked potato. <laughs> That's so weird. Okay. Oh, the, ne the next one. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. <laughs> Tomatoes. Okay. The next one is an aubergine. It's an eggplant and uh, is it a cucumber? Are they both? Oh, I don't. I don't think. I don't know if I know that green one. I'm not sure. I don't know what it's called, but I forgot. Is it? Are they both the same thing? Oh, it's a zucchini. Oh, it's, it's zucchini and eggplant. Then I don't know what that is. I kind of know what it is. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm really dumb. It's a courgette. There we go. Okay. Biscuits is the next one. I mean those. They're cookies, I guess. They're they're like dry cookies though. So like yeah, they're cookies though. They are cookies. Yes. Oh, very good biscuits. The next one are scones or scones. I don't know what I say. So they're biscuits all the way. <laughs> they're light and fluffy and buttery. Biscuits for us are like thin and really crunchy. I just find that so weird. I don't know. I think it rhymes with like gone. Like we call we call them scones. I've never heard scone over here. Scones are like denser, and you like you don't usually. I mean, yeah, scones are denser, and they have to have like something in them, like cinnamon or blueberries or something, like in the dough, to be a scone. And it has to be sweet. You don't really have savory scones over here. I do cream and then jam because cream, cream I don't I don't put butter on mine so my cream acts as a butter and then the jam is like the topping I don't think I've ever heard of cream on biscuits before <laughs> I've heard like butter jelly you know and then we have like breakfast biscuits with like eggs and bacon and stuff on them like in them like you would separate and then put like eggs cheese bacon stuff like that Ooh. They serve it at McDonald's. It is the best with the cream and then the jam. It's very I don't think I've ever had it with cream before. Ooh. Devon is the best place for that or Cornwall if you come to the UK. <laughs> to Devon or Cornwall. By the way, how do you make a cup of tea? I feel embarrassed to say this. I mean, I make cup of tea a lot 
like the lazy way. Okay, so I take some water and put it in a mug and then I put it in the microwave <laughs> for like until it gets really hot and then I put a tea bag in and then I cover it for like, it says you have to cover it for like 10 minutes, but I just do it for like two and then like mix it up and then drink it. But I only drink like throat coat. I only drink tea like to help me sing when my voice is bad. I'm not a big tea person. Fruity tea. Or is that like English tea that you put milk in? We, I don't, I've never had milk with tea before. I've had milk with honey or no, no yeah, I've never had, or tea with honey, not milk with honey. So we do it where you boil the kettle, obviously, and then you put the tea bag in and then you put the boiling water in. You like stir that around till it's like nice and dark. And then you put some milk in depending on how strong or weak you like it. And then you stir it. And then some people put sugar in it. I personally don't, but you can put sugar in it and that's it. Okay, next one. That's jelly. Jello. Jello. That's jello. Yeah, we call it jelly, which I guess is what you call jam, I think. Yeah, jelly. Yeah, jelly, because you have peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Wait, do, what do you, do you guys have peanut butter and jam sandwiches? Yeah, we usually say peanut butter and jelly because it sounds a bit weird with peanut butter and jam. <laughs> like, okay, then, yeah. Okay, the next one is ice lollies. What? Oh God! <laughs> we just call them popsicles. Oh, that's that's. I don't know. It's kind of a fun name. Because we call like those little things lollipops, and then they're like iced versions. So it's iced lollies. I don't know. Huh. <laughs> okay, that's. Oh wait, that's sweets. That's a lot of candy. And then we buy them at a sweet shop. You buy them, I don't, I mean, there's not really much sweet shops. I mean, we don't really have, like, many dedicated sweet, shop, sweet shops anymore. Uh, you basically get it at, like, Walmart. <laughs> yeah, well, you do buy it at supermarkets. You then, could get it at, like, a candy store, I guess. Yeah. Like, there's not many candy stores anymore. Okay, the next one is a trolley. A shopping, a shopping cart. cart. In a, a grocery supermarket. store? Supermarket. That is a cinema, and you watch movies or films there. It's just a movie theater. <laughs> we just call it the movie theater. That's called a pavement. But wait, it's a sidewalk. Yeah, yours doesn't but make like, sense. I don't, I don't know why we call it a pavement, because you, like, you walk on the side. I don't know. Well, the sidewalk is made of pavement. That's yeah. what, like, like... Like, if you fell on the sidewalk, you'd be like, oh, I tripped on the pavement and fell. The next one. What is this type of vehicle? A truck? A lorry. A what? A lorry. <laughs> Wait, how do you spell that? L-O-R-R-Y. Lorry. I'm just so confused. Yeah, we have some weird names over here. The motorway. Highway? Motorway. The highway? Yeah. The next one is either the tube or the London Underground. Uh, the subway. I think I think yeah, the subway, maybe like a train. Uh, yeah, it just looks like a picture of looks like a subway, like in New York or something. Except it looks a lot cleaner than the ones in New York. <laughs> <laughs> what are the names of the education institutions that you go to at different ages? Um. Okay, so. There's, you start at preschool, and then it's also sometimes called pre-K, pre-kindergarten, um, and then kindergarten, and then you have elementary school, which is first grade through fifth grade, and then middle school, which is sixth grade through eighth grade, and then high school, which is ninth grade through twelfth grade, and then four years of college from, like, ages 18 to 22. Wow, okay. We have nursery, which you can go from, from like, the age of one until you're, like, four, and then you have primary school, well, we had primary school infants and primary school juniors, and then the infants, all of it, the primary school is from reception to year six, and then we have secondary school, which is from year seven to year 11, and then you have college, which is year 12 and year 13, and then you can go to university if you want to. Oh, we college can... is university here, like, 
if yeah. you're like going to the university you're going to college and then after college you can go to like medical school or grad school something like that oh that's me <laughs> do you have to wear school uniform yes we do oh i do not have to wear school. i mean there's like a dress code like but it's just like don't wear things too short stuff like that yeah. um but no there's no uniform the only time i ever had to wear a school uniform is when i did matilda <laughs> Ours is just, well, it's kind of strict, I guess. We have to wear, like, a button-up shirt, a tie, and then a blazer, and then a skirt and tights or trousers. Some schools do have uniforms. Mine is not, it doesn't. But, I mean, like, mostly, like, Catholic schools, um, some, like, the Catholic schools, some of the private schools have uniforms, but most of them don't. When does the school year usually start? Ooh. For us, it starts at the beginning of September. Mine this year started August 17th. But I think it started a year, a week early this year because of Corona, because we're still yeah. online. So I probably like, yeah, late, late August, like August. I think last year was like the 26th. T-H-E-A-T-R-E. When you're like performing theater, like live theater, then it's T H E. A T R E, but like if you're like in a theater, like the actual place is T H E A T R T E R. So like you go to a T H E A T E R, but like to watch T H E A T R E. Oh, if that makes any sense. We call that stalls on the bottom. Then. I know the top one is upper circle. We just call it like the circles, however many there are. I don't know, Dr we call one of them the dress circle? I don't even know. It's been a long time since I've been to a theater. Yeah. But okay, the so the very bottom part is the orchestra. And then like higher, but not like to the first balcony yet is like, like just farther back, farther up, like behind the orchestra is the mezzanine usually mezzanine seats that's a weird word but it doesn't sound weird so orchestra and then there's mezzanine and then like the first level I mean the mezzanine I guess sometimes could be like the first level there um or and then you have like first balcony second balcony and then the top is I mean there the rest are just like all balconies basically I, I think um I don't know if there's like different like Broadway terms for it but I would just call them the balconies and then, I mean, you call them like nosebleed seats when you get really high. But yeah, I think they're just, the rest are just all balconies. What is the short period of time separating parts of the show? It's an intermission. An interval. Intermission. I like intermission. <laughs> These are programs. Okay. Uh, these are programs or playbills. I think we're going for the difference between show bill and play bill here. What is the difference between show I think they're just called different things. Like at the top here, it says play bill. I think at the top there, it says show bill, I think. Oh, I've never had a show bill. I don't oh. know. We've just called them programs. You might just be where I've been. Yeah, ours is program or play bill. So this is uh, everybody's talking about Jamie one. Oh my god, it's fine. And then a wicked one. So like what's inside? So we have, so there's like information about the show and like pictures, professional pictures. And then there's like the cast and like the pictures of the cast and like information about them and their like CVs and like what they've done before. And then there's just like loads of pictures of like professional pictures. So this is what our playbills look like. And um, you get them for free when you just go in the theater. It just like, it comes with your ticket. And it, so it has like the list of like, who's in the cast. And then it has um, like pictures of all the main cast. All the main cast members are farther in the front. And then all the like ensemble members and stuff have pictures further in the back. And then they all have their own bios. So like, is what they, that looks like. So they all have like their names and then stuff. Um, I kind of wish they had the headshots by the names, but they're very far apart. And then, um, and then they have a list of like musical numbers and like when each musical number would happen, like act two and then the names of them and who would be in them. And then the rest of it is basically just ad space. Like 
they could just buy ads basically to fill up the rest of it. Um, and sometimes it, it's like ads for other shows. Like this one has ones for like Dear Evan Hansen and Phantom of the Opera and, um, and Mrs. Doubtfire, which never really got to open very much. But then uh, there's other stuff like cruises and stuff like that. Um, so that, yeah, they sell a lot of ad space. Um, but yeah, you get these for free, which I guess is why they have the ads. Um, but the ads are for all sorts of random stuff. And it's kind of intertwined with the stuff. So there's like who's who and then ads. Okay, and then this is our type of, I guess what you, this is kind of it, but you, you do have to pay for these. And they have like pictures from the show um, and like all the actors. And they have like some stuff about like how, like, like the creative process of the show. This is like a note from the stage manager, like a note from the composer, stuff like that. So they have like little like quotes and snippets from like the creative team and then a bunch of pictures. Um, and then it does have this thing in it, though it's basically kind of like a bigger program. It has like a little like slip inside that has like the cast, um, but it's like removable. And yeah, this, you have to pay for this, but this just comes with the show. We have to pay for all of them. And when I went to Waitress, like when I went to go see Waitress, there was two different types. And there was one that was like a normal program. And then there was another one which I got, which has like the same kind of stuff, but it also has extras like pictures and then it had like recipes for pies that you could make. So it had like extra stuff and it was more expensive, but like you have to pay for them all over here. Wow. So, yeah. Hey. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Um. What are you up to today? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be so bad. Okay, um, nothing much. Um, I'm going to the theater. To the theater. What are you going to see? I'm going to see Mean Girls, and then I'm gonna get a playbill afterwards or before. I don't know. Are you going to pay for your playbill? No, because because we don't over here, do you? We do. <laughs> oh, that's so weird. <laughs> um, yeah, what time is it over there? It's 4.15. Oh, cool. It's, what time is it over there? It's 9.15 over here. Oh, it's yeah. really late. Yeah. Oh, really late. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm falling out. That was so good. Yours was, Yours was good too. Oh, boy. Yeah. Was... You freaked me out. <laughs> I was like, whoa. I hear other dogs. 